Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. Today I want to show you a rare aid to navigation that might be used to mark rocks, wrecks, and reefs. The other day I was looking over this chart of Salem and Lynn Harbors in Massachusetts. Note on the approach via South Channel, you'll pass three aids to navigation with the abbreviation RWBN. This stands for Red and White Beacon. You might recall that red and white vertical stripes are used to designate a safe water buoy or beacon, but it's clear that each of these beacons are set onto a dangerous shoal. From the east, the Endeavour's beacon marks the dangerous rock and three-foot shoal. The next red and white beacon alerts the navigator to Little Aquavitae Shoal. Just to the west, you see another red and white beacon on the southern tip of the intertidal shoal at Great Aquavitae. Let's solve the mystery of how the beacons we see will appear visually as we sail through this channel. Go into a Google search window and type in this site address that will take you to the U.S. Coast Guard Navigation Center light lists. Coast Guard light lists show all lighted and unlighted aids to navigation that are maintained by the U.S. Coast Guard. Hover your mouse over the map and click and download the light list for your local sailing area. Look in the front of the light list and you'll find color plates that illustrate specific aids to navigation. We look under the dayboards plates and match the exact navigation symbol, RWBN. Here you can see a diamond-shaped dayboard with a checkerboard pattern of red and white squares. Another plate shows how these symbols and abbreviations will be shown on our chart. We can match this chart symbol and abbreviation to our specific nautical chart. More plates reveal the visual picture that we should see as we pass by. Note the red and white vertical stripes on the safe water buoy. Realize that a safe water aid to navigation can be shown as a day beacon. Compare the dayboard shapes on this color plate. A safe water dayboard will always be shaped like an octagon with eight sides. A diamond shaped dayboard always indicates danger. Again, we can see the similarities of the two day beacons, but note how the danger day beacon lies inside the blue shoal water, whereas the safe water day beacon clearly lies in white, deep water on all sides. Remember this memory key diamond dayboards are dangerous. That way, if you see a diamond day beacon in the distance or in silhouette, you will know right away to stay clear to avoid grounding. Use these sailing navigation tips to keep you and your small sailboat in safe water and your sailing crew safe and sound. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.